Hey everybody, Matt Brown here. And uh, this one is Slipper from Nirvana's Incesticide. So another real simple one. We're still uh, working with kind of the easier songs on the album and uh, you know, working our ways where it's the harder ones. All right, so this one is, is pretty simple. Um, basically we have, we have two parts to the song, a verse and a chorus. Uh, and then we have uh, a verse that's played a little bit differently from the other ones. So yeah, let's just get after it. So uh, the song starts with uh, bass vocals and the drums are keeping time on the hi-hat. Um, and then when the song kicks in, it kicks in with the full band and the chorus. So let's look at that guitar part. All right, so uh, basically for the chorus, we have just two chords. And it's this is a thing that Kurt Cobain does in tons of songs. He just picks two chords that are uh, a minor third or a major third apart and just kind of goes back and forth between them. Um, you know, if you've learned any of these other songs that I've taught, you've probably seen this chord progression several times already. All right, so first chord, A5. Three string chord, we've got an A, um, E and A, so three string chord uh, with a fifth string root, open two and two, then a C5, uh, another fifth string root power chord, and so three, five, five. All right. So uh, the rhythm, we're going to do one, two with the A chord, and then uh, the open D and G strings as a transition, so it's the first little part. And then with the C5 chord, we're going to do three and four, and then on the end of four, a transitional strum. So the whole thing slowly is... chorus it does that eight times all right so after the uh, the the first chorus there we have uh, a verse riff and so the verse is uh, it's it's six measures and uh, we have a two bar riff that gets played three times so that riff uh, it starts off the C5 chord three string version uh, we have an F5 in here so that's one three three uh, and then uh, the same A5 that we used in the chorus. So this is truly a three chord song. Uh, so our, our verse, I'll, I'll play it for you at tempo and then go through it slowly. So the rhythm, one, two, three, and. So the, on the end of two, we're gonna have the transitional strum. Then we have three and four hands. So uh, straight eighth notes there with uh, the transitional strum on the end of four. Um, and then the following measure, we have this. So from the C5, A5, no transitional open strings, just one, two, uh, on the end of four of that measure, though, we do have the open strings played as a transition. So let's play the whole verse here, slowly. Alright, so that's it. Alright, so the song goes back into a chorus after that. And then we have the verse that's a little bit different. And in that verse, all Kurt Cobain is doing is, you know, that, that type of deal. Like, so the real fast 16th note strums into a long held out strum. Um, so the, the chorus, the final chorus, um, instead of doing the riff a total of eight times, they extend the last chorus and do it 20 times and then add on a tonic C5 chord that's just held out at the end. So that's all there is to Sliver. Uh, again, you know, if you guys want the tabs, just email me. My email address is at the top of my YouTube page. Um, and, you know, uh, subscribe for updates, too. I encourage you to do that um, so you don't miss any of these lessons. All right, well, thanks a lot. I'm Matt Brown. More coming.